Uh, we are entering in the digital life uh, where more and more devices are going to be interconnected in order to provide us a better user experience and a better life. So, for example, our vehicles will be able just to provide us the best route to go from point A to point B. Uh, also, sensors are going to provide information bet uh, between all the appliances within our home in order to get uh, uh, saving in terms of power consumption or re reducing pollution. So there would be benefits from introduction of all these the technological enhancement. So in order to get this interconnected world, of course, uh, connectivity is a must. And uh, in order to achieve connectivity in a secure and authenticated way, uh, the presence of the SIM card is a core element. So it's quite important to deploy uh, devices who are able just to talk each other. And so the capability of a trusted element, that's the SIM card, it's quite crucial in order to succeed in such a kind of vision. Of course, RSP is going to provide an help in order to personalize and provide profiles over the air, over the internet, and uh, simplifying the way of usage and the customization for such a kind of new uh, elements and new devices. Remote SIM provisioning is a new uh, technology that has been deployed recently by the GSMA. And of course, it has a new technology needs to be assessed. Uh, so, of course, interoperability and standardization are two crucial elements in order to let uh, RSP uh, adopted uh, by the main operators and by the different uh, device manufacturers. So it's quite important, first of all, to uh, let this technology be assessed within the different devices and, of course, uh, guarantee the standardization and uh, interoperability in order to manage uh, all different devices and different SIM cards and different profiles coming from the different network operators. The introduction of RSP is going just to allow operators to reduce logistic costs compared to the traditional uh, SIM management and will offer them the opportunity just to introduce a new business model in order to enable additional markets to use such a kind of connectivity, providing remote subscriptions and trying just to enlarge the market. The introduction of RSP is going just also to provide benefits for the different markets. For example, for machine to machine, it will be easier just to manage a fleet of devices with subscriptions without just replacing piece of plastic and uh, will be managed over the air. While for the end user, for the final consumer customer, there will be also an opportunity to introduce connectivity in different devices like uh, wearables, smartwatches, or uh, tablets and so on, more than just smartphones. So there will be a larger number of connectivity, connected devices that are going to take benefit from this new technology. In this vision of interconnected world, one of my dreams is just to get my luggage connected. Uh, I lost it in the past many times flying around and that would be nice just to go to the lost and found desk and say, okay, I found my luggage and they are still looking for their tracing system. So that would be an amazing scene where we are going just to demonstrate the validity of this interconnected world.